What's up guys, I'm Andy from 1A Auto. This vehicle has a little lack of power, the throttle response isn't really there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna clean the fuel injectors. I'm gonna use this fuel injector cleaner kit. If you need any parts for your vehicle, click the link in the description and head over to 1AAuto.com. To start this kit, we wanna hook it up. We wanna find out what the fuel pressure is of this vehicle while it's running. So I have it in line hooked with the fuel rail. It's right up to the Schrader valve. That's the easiest way to hook this up. Now I have this closed. I am gonna open this. There's a valve on the back here. Open that valve. Then I'm gonna start the car and we're gonna check the pressure. It's about 50 PSI, so I can shut the vehicle off right now. Okay, so the pressure is still in there. There's probably a little bit of gasoline in here, which is okay. What I'm gonna do is I wanna disable the fuel system now. So I'm gonna either pull the fuel pump relay or the fuel pump fuse. So I pulled that fuse out. Now I'm gonna start the vehicle and it's gonna suck the rest of that fuel out of that container and the engine should die. As you can see, the fuel pressure is going down and the engine is starting to stall. I'm just gonna shut it off. So with this tool, I'm just gonna close this valve. Slowly, I'm gonna open the top of this, release the pressure. Before I unscrew that completely, I'm gonna get my injector cleaner. When you're adding the injector cleaner to the tool, make sure you check the directions on the injector cleaner because some injector cleaners require a 50-50 mix of gasoline and injector cleaner. Put the cap back on. Hang the tool back up. Now we're gonna put sharp air to the end of this. And we're gonna adjust the pressure. We wanna get it to about 45 PSI, which is about five pounds less than what the fuel pump was pushing out to keep this engine running. That way, none of this cleaner is gonna go back into the tank. up shop air. I'm just going to open this valve. All right, so get to about right about there. It's about 42. I'm going to start it up and then I can adjust accordingly. All right, so that's about 45 PSI, which is perfect. So we're gonna let the engine run. It's gonna suck all that cleaner out and clean all the injectors out. So you're gonna leave that fuel pump fuse out while you're doing this. This engine is running just off this injector cleaner. Um, the pressure is putting pressure to the injectors and injecting the cleaner right into the vehicle, right into the engine. All right, now I'm gonna disconnect this. Right there. So while the engine's running, don't walk away from the vehicle. This may take five or 10 minutes to suck all that cleaner out. Um, you don't wanna walk away from the vehicle. You wanna stay nearby. Once the engine starts running really um, poorly where it's misfiring and stuff, you can shut the vehicle off and then check and make sure that this can is empty. So we shut this off already and the can is empty. So now we can take this off and we'll put our fuse back in. All right, so I'm just gonna carefully release the pressure. All right, so the pressure's released. That's out. I'm gonna disconnect this right here. I wanna use a rag, because I don't want the cleaner to go all over the place. So be careful, it's a good idea to wear safety glasses doing this procedure. Okay, some cleaner came out of there. Disconnect the adapter. Again, use a rag. All 
right, we can take this away. With the tool removed, we can put the fuel pump fuse back in, or if you took out the fuel pump relay. Once you're done with the fuel injection cleaning, you're gonna to wanna to start the vehicle, let it run for a while. It may run really bad right away. The check engine light might come on. You're gonna clear the code, let it run, drive it around. After a while, this car felt great. Uh, we cleared out the problem, and you should be good to go. Thanks for watching. Visit 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts shipped to your door, the place for DIY auto repair. And if you enjoyed this video, please click the subscribe button.